afternoon. This is Mike with the National Weather Service in Jackson, Mississippi, with a special severe weather briefing this Wednesday afternoon, April 2nd, 2025. I'll be talking today about the strong gusty winds that we're experiencing already that'll last through this evening. We'll talk about our severe storm potential this evening as well, and the severe storm potential in the northwest on Thursday and on Friday, and then the severe storm potential that we're expecting area-wide on Saturday. A strong low pressure system that's currently lifting north across the Great Lake region today will drop a cold front toward our region. This cold front will then stall well north of our county warning area, but result in a threat of severe storms over our northwest portions of the area through the week. For this afternoon, we have a wind advisory that's been issued for our whole county warning area. We are already seeing strong gusty winds across the area, and the Greenwood LaFleur Airport has already observed a peak gust of 59 miles per hour, but most sites continue to report gusts between 40 and 50 miles per hour. Sustained winds this afternoon of 25 to 35 miles per hour with gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour can down some trees and result in power outages. Travel may also be difficult for high profile vehicles, especially those traveling west to east because the winds that we're expecting this afternoon continuing into the evening are from the south. And again, the time frame is what's going on currently and it'll last all the way through midnight. There is also a severe weather threat this evening. The severe weather threat has been increased to include a moderate risk to our, to our northwest most areas, but the timing and the threats have not really changed too much. And the it's contingent upon even getting storms into our area as some of the computer models remain that the greatest threat will be to our northwest. But provided we get storms into our area, damaging wind gusts will be the main threat with tornadoes also likely in the northwest and then large hail to golf ball size will also be possible. The threat will decrease and the threats will not be as widespread the further to the southeast you go into our county warning area. It's another surface map showing the stalled front, and this is valid on Friday morning, but the stalled front that you see across Arkansas and Western Tennessee will be closer to our county warning area, shifted a little bit further southeast on Thursday, but then it'll be drifting back toward the northwest on Friday. For Thursday, this will result still in a slight risk across our extreme northwest portions of our county warning area where the damaging wind gusts will remain the main threat and hail perhaps to the size of golf balls will be possible. As we go a little bit further to the southeast in the marginal risk area, isolated severe storms will be possible. Damaging winds will be the main threat again and perhaps hail to quarter size. The main timing on this is Thursday evening, but can't rule out a storm or two developing by late afternoon. By the time we get to Friday, we're expecting the boundary to have drifted back further away from the county warning area to the northwest. This will result in only a marginal risk of severe across our extreme northwest zones, where isolated severe storms will be possible, with damaging wind gusts the main threat, and hail perhaps up to the size of quarters. The main timing for this, again, is during the early evening hours on Friday, but perhaps a storm or two may pop up in the late afternoon. The main threat to the whole county warning area will occur basically Saturday night into Sunday. Confidence is increased in the potential for severe storm development. Thus, the area has been upgraded to an enhanced threat across much of our area, with the southeast remaining in a slight risk. This event is still several days away, so expect 
further refinements to the threats, the threat areas, and the timing as the event draws closer. It's worth mentioning that during the next five days, there's an abundance of heavy rain that'll be just to the northwest of our county warning area. Should the front stall a little bit further to the southeast and remain closer to our CWA, maybe some of this heavy rain will begin to affect our area. But until then, no flooding is expected or anticipated in our county warning area through the next five days, but we'll continue to closely monitor this threat. To summarize, strong gusty winds are expected to continue this afternoon and last all the way through the evening, where 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts are likely. Severe storms are also possible across our Northwest this evening. Severe storms will continue to be possible across our Northwest on Thursday and Friday, but the biggest threat to most of our area will occur Saturday night into Sunday as a clearing front moves through the region and produces a greater area and a greater threat of severe storms. That concludes our multimedia weather briefing, and as always, thanks for viewing.